What's good with it, local homies? Today's video is about Kyonosuke Yamashita. He's a Japanese skater. He kind of blew up with Luis Mora and the Erase Project, and now he's Primitive's newest am. He's personally one of my favorite up and coming skaters. He just has like such a unique, cool style. It's super structured, but it's not robotic. Like, I love watching him skate, and there's a video on the barracks that you should go watch. It's Where the Hell Did This Guy Come From with Kyonosuke? And just the way he does his tricks how loose and fluid he is that's just like ever, everything I want to be so whenever there's new footage of Kinosuke like I pay attention I watch it probably multiple times like I do with all the skaters that I like watching and I notice that he does something unique with his grip he's not the only guy doing this but I'm lately I feel like he's done it on every single board he'll cut a line right down the center uh, this is my shod wear twin tail I think this was the first board that I did the line down the center maybe the second and the first few times I did this it was a huge struggle but over time I've been getting better at doing this sort of grip job and a lot of people have been commenting asking me to make a video on how I grip my board so I pretty much just copy Kyonosuke but as far as like going about doing this I have a specific way that I think works best and that's what I'm gonna show you today let's get into it Today's gonna be kind of a chill day just because I hit a rock rolling towards a quarter pipe yesterday and just got smoked and my hip is all stiff and I'm like out here limping and the dogs are out here barking. But I do have some skating clips that I'm gonna put at the end once I'm done with this grip job. Okay, so today we're gonna actually be unboxing and gripping this board it's a glider skateboard is the company it's like a korean american company and they specialize in making twin tails so super sick they've got a stained bottom ply stained top ply which i love the stained top ply is cool because making this design that we're gonna do with the line down the center pops better if there's a color on top and on bottom i just think the graphic wears out a lot nicer if there's a stain so shout out to glider skateboards for hooking it up this is the first skateboard that anybody has ever sent me so if there's skateboard companies out there that want me to skate their boards just DM me on Instagram I'm down along with the board that they sent me they also sent me some grip tape which I'm hyped on because I hate it when you get a board online and it doesn't include free grip and then you have to go to the skate shop and literally just buy grip tape and they're like you literally bought your board online and came here to get grip and you're like yeah but your selection isn't that good okay so the first step to doing the grip like Kinosuke is to fold your grip in half burrito style or taco style so I just grab the corners start making a crease and you just go down. So you should end up with something like that. And you can like fold it back and forth a couple times to like really get that crease nice and creasy. Step two, you're gonna take the box that the board came in and just like lay it on the ground. And then you're gonna flatten out that sucker. And basically you're just gonna take a razor and just cut all the way along the crease that you just made. And if you have a good razor, it'll just work really quick perfect okay so I know what you're thinking you're like Joe look how bad that crease is and you cut it so bad well that's why you don't use the end that you cut you use the end that the machine cut super precise for you so don't put the side that you cut facing in face that out because you're just gonna cut that out anyways <laughs> okay now this is the part where it gets a little bit technical so there's a reason I'm sitting down like this it's because what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your grip tape on the board and you're gonna aim kind of for the middle but give it a slight gap, something like that. But then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it like this so you can see down the length of it whether it's crooked or not. Obviously it's not gonna be perfect, but this is how you can tell whether or not you're doing a bad job or a good job or whatever. Put it on your feet and just go with it like that. <laughs> Okay, so that should give you a pretty decent line. Now you're just gonna come back, flip this around, grab the other sheet of grip, and then do the exact same thing. But this time, you get to choose how much of a gap you put there in the middle. So you just kinda play with it. Start on one end, kinda decide what the gap is that you want right here, and then flip it around to the other side so you can look down and make sure that you've got it about the same gap all the way down. Okay, it's not perfect, it never will be, but got our line from there, pretty straightforward. We're just gonna sand it down and cut off the excess grip. 
TJ Rogers says that he doesn't si file it down at all. That way you get flick all the way to the edge of the grip because if you sand it down, you're basically getting rid of the grippiness towards the edge of the board. So if you want more grip on your board, don't file it, don't sand it, or if you're like me and you know you're just gonna screw it up, file it down just a tiny bit so you can see where you're cutting, call it good. Okay, so I don't claim to be like an expert on gripping, but this is just how I grip my board. And uh, this is hard, because I feel like I normally do pretty good grip jobs. And honestly, like I usually screw up once, but today I chunked it out a couple times. Th this is probably the worst part right there. But anyways, the, the middle is the part that you came for. We got that nice middle line. Really the key is just to, as you're gripping it, look down the board this way so you can tell how you're lining it up. At first I would like look at it top down to try and line it up and I like would put my grip on there and then like look at it again and be like that's not even close. So obviously this isn't perfect but it's I mean it's pretty good like I wouldn't trip out at it like looking down skating so that's really all I care about. Again shout out to Glider Skateboard. It's definitely going to be making some videos on this. Dude you guys are the best like the channel's really close to hitting like 9,000 and like companies are like sending me things i would ha have like no opportunity to, if it weren't for you guys liking and subscribing and just like supporting the channel so that other companies take notice so yeah pretty pretty hyped that people like even want to work with me and really i can't take any credit because i could make the coolest videos but if nobody watched them that would be that so i told you guys i was gonna have some skating in this video so go ahead and cue the edit right here So I see a lot of people commenting being like, man, you're progressing like so fast. And like, I really appreciate that, but it doesn't feel like that. So in this edit, I tried to include like more falls. This 
session specifically, I picked 15 tricks that are kind of like some of the better tricks that I can do, like less consistent, ones that I'm not like fully comfortable with and made myself do 15. However, I couldn't get the front nose grind, but I was able to get some tricks that I was like really, really hyped on. Like I'm really getting hyped on back 5-0s and I filmed these clips a while ago, even since then, my back 5-0s have been getting better. I was really hyped on the crook to fakie. The only thing is any anytime I start trying crook to fakie, it messes up my regular crooks and I keep slipping out to no slide. But I wanna learn how to master that so I can go crook to regular, crook to fakie on command. Also, I was kinda hyped on the back big spin on the hip as well as on the step up. Like That's one that I definitely need to do more often. I feel like I'm getting kinda close to actually figuring it out and up to step up I got a sketchy one first try which was like really surprising and then the one that I kept it was also kind of sketchy but there was no toe drag or, or heel touch or anything it's just I kind of landed and lost my speed but then I threw a little fakey front heel afterwards and I was like ah, eh, I'll take it I also did a fakey ollie up to step up which is a ridiculously awkward trick for me but it didn't make it into the edit because my camera died but I just wanted to say that for any of you that are counting and you're like he said he did 14 of the 15 tricks but there's only 13. Anyways, this video probably isn't gonna do very good. Sometimes I just wanna talk to like my true fans out there and just chat it up a little bit. I'm not like going like super hard, like trying to keep the audience retained. Sometimes I just like to relax and talk. And I appreciate those of you that are invested enough that you're down to like watch the end of the video like this, where I'm just kind of like going on about this, that, and the other. Part of the reason though that I'm making this kind of like thrown together video is just because my hip is like fully buckled. And so I can't skate until probably sometime next week. So I thought this would be a good video to make. I knew I had some clips that I hadn't used yet, had a bowl that I hadn't set up yet and people were asking me about the grip thing so I hope this is entertaining for somebody out there if you're still watching comment below true homie skateboard ads at Target be like okay guys you have a really great weekend you can follow me on Instagram at the local Joe remember to make every single day a Friday and I will catch you guys in the next video peace what